I grew up in a small paper mill town in South Louisiana. My first job out of college in Louisiana was in economic and business development. Seeking professional opportunity and a great place to start and raise a family, my husband and I moved to Oklahoma 18 years ago. Despite my best laid plans in my early 20s, economic and business development was not to be the core of my professional career. I was recruited to work at a nonprofit provider, the Center of Family Love. The center serves people with developmental disabilities and provides residential and employment supports. My heart and life trajectory were forever changed in the small town of Oak Archie, Oklahoma. I began my Department of Human Services career in 2005 as a DDS case manager in Canadian County and currently serve as the Chief of Staff and Operations at the agency that I love. It's been the truest pleasure of my lifetime to get to work in human services. I would have never imagined that I would fall totally and deeply in love and feel so committed to this agency and the people that we serve. It's an exciting time at DHS. Never in the history of our agency have we had more female leaders than we do right this very minute. Strong female leaders, the kind that'll walk through fire to ensure citizens and employees get what they need. We have our first female CFO, a dynamic and visionary female leader of child welfare. Four out of five of our chief team members are women. Strong, smart women. There's a reason the dominant gender in human services is women. Women are the strength and nurturers in all environments, at work and at home. And that's certainly true for our employees, as well as the people serving as our community partners and our direct service providers across the state. We are moving our agency to a space of prevention. We're going upstream. We're building a system that supports families with services and resources before they're in crisis. Government systems have been built to be responsive since their inception. We're moving to be a prevention agency, a family building agency, not a family rebuilding agency. An agency that creates opportunities and stands alongside families and celebrates successes. One Oklahoma woman that I admire very much is Kate Bernard. She was feisty and she led social services in Oklahoma at the turn of the 20th century. She was the first woman to hold statewide elected office in the United States in 1907. She served as the State Commissioner of Charities and Corrections. She too was committed to rebuilding families. She took the lead on issues relating to child labor, prison reform, Native American rights, and mental health services. Kate was a model of service above self. So many of our female leaders show up to serve our neighbors first every single day. As a female leader, don't resist opportunity. Women often do that. We resist for a host of reasons. I've resisted at almost every turn. I've always questioned whether I could really be a great mom, a great wife, and a great leader. You can. It takes a lot of work and you have to be organized. But if you're called to each of these roles deep within your core, it's achievable. Lean in, support other women. If you remain focused on others, you will be successful. The measure is that you're proud of the contributions you've made to humankind. Everything else is bonus.